Gotta visit the garden today still too. During my ride with the train, I read this. Apparently these are leaked Mavic 2 photos. I was like, okay, let's try to see what's new here. If these are leaked photos anyways, I mean, it looks pretty legitimate. You can see basically on the right side there, it says Mavic 2. I guess one thing interesting is it doesn't say Mavic Pro 2. So does that mean it's gonna be potentially two versions of this? I know one rumor and speculation has always been that new Mavic Pro 2 is gonna have a one inch sensor, but at the same time, it's supposed to be a lot bigger. So, here though, you can kind of see on the left side, it almost looks like that's the camera gimbal. It makes it seem like it's like a GoPro Karma where you can actually take the camera out of the actual drone. So maybe that's the direction they think they need to go in order to capture more market share. I know for me initially, I was planning to get a GoPro Karma because I was looking for like a camera and a drone. But then afterwards I looked at the size of things like nope, too big. So in my opinion, that's actually more important. Like the actual size of the drone, like whether or not you can carry it to various places. But if the camera is removable in a sense, I guess that makes it easier to upgrade the camera. So you can basically change it to whatever. So maybe that would make things like a Mavic Pro would have a one inch sensor, whereas this one, it would have something less. So I guess it's kind of good to have a flexibility like that, if that's how it is anyways. You can also see on the back, there's like a circle there. It almost seems like there's, I guess, sensors on the back now. So I suppose it's basically trying to be more modern day because I know if you're trying to use those autonomous modes in many cases since like the Mavic Pro doesn't have like back sensors it's not really safe to have it to follow you around in my opinion especially for people like me where I hike around a lot of trees and stuff like that just having sensors basically for example like in the front and the bottom like this basic one I don't think that's enough to have it follow you around confidently it's no Skydio drone for example but still it's better to have more sensors if the intent is to have more people use it in a autonomous mode. I can't quite tell what that item on the far top left is, the cylinder object. Is it like a camera, a controller holder? I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just the angle too, but to me, the bottom left picture, the camera on what I would call the gimbal for now, the handheld gimbal, looks smaller than the one that's actually on the drone. So I guess that would kind of say again, if you could upgrade cameras and stuff with this in the future, that'd be kind of cool if you can do that. So are those features or speculated features enough to get people excited about a new Mavic drone? I know for me, basically the two main points, just based on my experience from flying that thing almost every day for what, well over 500 days or so, whenever it's not raining and stuff, is I would want better picture quality because the thing is really bad in low light for the most part, and at the same time, a better gimbal quality. I guess for me, one of the biggest wish list items would be to have the drone waterproof so you can fly in things like the rain and stuff, but I don't think we'll be seeing that just based on what we see here so far anyways. I wonder how the drone's gonna handle the wind like this. Hey, look what's growing, guys. Holy cow, it's growing fast. Why does everything look so different? They're all more vibrant and growing higher upwards now. It's only been like, what, a week? It's hard to get in now without trying to step on stuff. Oh, some lovely sunlight in the garden. We can water this in time and get some shots. The heck, it's raining a little bit. Okay, does this mean a rainbow is going to come out? I guess I'll wait it out for a little bit. Didn't even need to water it today, I guess. <laughs> well, the front at least.
stuff is beyond me. So one of you guys had a question saying, what kind of fertilizer do you use for this? Because they can't get their stuff to grow apparently. We uh, bought a full uh, truckload. A truckload? Is it a type of brand, anything? Of, uh, of cow manure. Cow manure? <laughs> In the fall, and we covered everything with cow manure. Okay. And now I'm putting out by hand uh, a granular commercial fertilizer. Okay. Breaking it down and then it provides the right nitrogen and potassium levels. Okay, it looks like seeds. For the soil. Almost. It's not seeds, it's Okay. It's just a uh, fertilizer. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, there's there your answer. You go. That's beyond me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, you cover it all with cow manure and then use this thing. Yeah. There you go. Jeez, what, how many pounds that is that? <laughs> I put it on the grill, I said. Is it? I put it on the grill. Okay. Or you can put it in with. See you guys later.